So we loaded up the camper last night. It had been several weeks, so there was a lot we had to figure out, and hopefully we didn't forget too many things. But I think we're ready. And if not, you know, there's plenty of Walmarts between here and where we're going. And this isn't our first rodeo, so I think we'll be fine. But there's always something we've forgotten. So I'm sure this time won't be any different. Of course we remembered Sienna. And she's like, I'm the most important one. You remembered me, you got it all. And Saffir's like, that's all right. I can drive this thing. I'm, I'm well versed. I'll just be the driver today. I've seen dad do it. That's right. the first stop of the day in Polk City. We have taken the back roads all day long and this is the first break. About an hour and a half, two hours in, not really sure. But the girls have both had a nice little break. Had a real nice little pull off. So we stopped for lunch at Lake Griffin State Park, just north of Lady Lake. Took the dogs for another walk, ran the generator for a bit, turned the air conditioner on, ate lunch, and just had a nice relaxing stay, and then back on the road. We are literally out here in the middle of Florida, on roads we've never been on before. So long, Florida. We'll be back. Hello, Georgia. So exit one in Georgia leads us to Kings Bay Submarine Base and Eagle Hammock RV Park. So we made it here to Kings Bay, Georgia. Georgia. And this is the view we have. I'm loving it. This is a great campground. And we don't need it. What? Cabin rentals. So the love bugs were sick on the road. And they're sick here too. You but I can go out here. Oh, we desperately want out here. Sienna's <laughs> going so far is ahead of me. Huh? That's not fair. So this is our first experience with a paved lot for our RV. And it was a beautiful one, lakefront. And in the evening, I'm cooking chicken fajitas on my Blackstone grill. And we even have a dog park here. All right, this has got to be absolutely the best campground we've been to thus far. Hi, Boo. Hi. I know. You're excited all of a sudden. Want to get busy? For years, we've driven past the Museum of the 8th Air Force in Savannah. We finally decided to stop in and visit. It was a beautiful museum, had a static display of an F-4 Phantom outside and a Russian MiG. Inside there was uh, memorabilia from many aspects of World War II, both Japanese and the Nazis, as well as the 8th Air Force and the bombers, and they have a static display of a B-17 inside the building, and I actually got to try my hand as a waste gunner in a B-17. There's one heading your way. Much harder than it looks. Look at all the bomb holes. These would be 24s. P-47. D-Day. So you think that's real footage? Yep, that definitely is. Very sobering to see the 26,000 poppy flowers 
which are the number of men from the 8th Air Force who gave their lives in World War II. About 10 miles off the interstate. And we have arrived. This is both a harvest house and a boondockers welcome, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. This was an amazing first harvest host for us. The site was level. They had 50 amp service available for a small fee, and it was very quiet. We enjoyed a tasting in their tasting room that evening and got to try several of their wines. As we were approaching Benson, North Carolina, I happened to catch a billboard on the side of the road saying Loosh Leash Dog Park. And uh, we decided to go check it out. It is right off of I-95. It's perfectly free. They have over three acres. And needless to say, the girls had an awesome time running around out here. We spent probably 45 minutes here just letting the girls enjoy themselves. We arrived that afternoon at Marine Corps Air Station, Cherry Point, in Havelock, North Carolina. A beautiful Marine Corps Air Station, and we are going to spend three days at Pelican Point RV Park on the base. And Diana picked up a rental car so that we would be able to drive around the town and attend my brother's ceremony. All right, so I wanted to give you all a wrap up as to how the trip went, heading up to North Carolina. So I was right, I forgot a few things. Starting off, I forgot jeans. All I took was shorts because we live in South Florida. I also forgot my teacup. I also forgot my creamer for my uh, coffee. And I forgot the sour cream we bought to go along with the chicken fajitas that Brad made. Additionally, <laughs> because that's not all, I also forgot the dog toys, the dog bed, a second dog crate, and the hot spot spray. But we managed to live without most of that. And that's another story about what we had to buy when we got to North Carolina. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that too. We're working on editing our next video. This one is going to be on the actual stay in North Carolina. We were there for three days. And so we invite you to come along and enjoy the ride with us. Thank you for watching and see you next time.